Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just in time. Back in Captain of Industry, we're taking it to the enemy here. We sent our ship out to do some exploring, ran into a pirate. Here we go. We should have the upper hand on this one. And then maybe we can bring back some refugees. We do need workers. I've got housing for another, what is that, 46 people. What? What? We lost somehow. We caught fire or something. All right. All right. Fair enough. Let's head back. Lick our wounds. I noticed the problem just before that battle started. This pipe that's supposed to... No, that's right. That's water. That's good. Where is the steam? Where is steam going? Am I not routing that steam out of here? I don't think I am. You are supposed to be feeding into here. Nope, nope, nope. We got problems. We got problems. This pipe down here, we need to change directions. Boom. I'm going to turn this guy on right now quickly because everything is shut down waiting on steam. And then we just need to restore the pipe that we took out quite a long time ago. That's you. Two. Um, that's it. Just snap on right there. Boom, boom. That'll allow us to make use of the steam we've got going here from the naphtha. What are we doing on rubber? Look, at we're already filled up on rubber. Uh, this whole pipe can go. We're no longer, no longer routing fuel gas down this way. That can go bye bye. Let's that out it was actually overloading our flare earlier to have that like that uh unity is okay it's not great should see these guys kick on here once they get the steam they need uh they got the steam they need light oil processed so everything's just kind of backed up and needs fuel gas processed what these guys are gonna do. Just gotta wait for the construction. 1879 diesel. That should buy us enough time to get things ready. We notice we're low on maintenance, copper production. I burned through a bunch of copper plates. We've got some now. These guys are what are they waiting on? Tin now. Waiting on everything. What's going on? Waiting on iron, waiting on copper. Oh, we've got trucks that are backed up. Look at this. 1432 seconds. It's not the mining vehicles. Something somewhere is backed up. There's our coal mine. That doesn't do us any good. Let's get that fixed. Spent so much time working on other things. Let's edit the area. Um, let's come back a bit this and just start chewing through that i think that's all yeah there's gonna be coal under there it's gonna be a little bit less efficient i think we'll be okay flat go out down here just take it all and then we can clear out this spent one boom okay that gets our coal guys back to work where else do we have trucks sitting doing nothing this excavator is waiting on fuel. These little buddies are waiting for him. Let's see our fuel truck, what's going on over there. I've got two tanks full of diesel. Fuel station's full. This guy is, he's doing his work. It's just taking him a while to do it. He might have maintenance issues. Do a spot repair on him. Why else are our vehicles so backed up? Do we have anybody? Let's see if we can uh, get this mining tower way over here built yet. If they can get to it, I'm gonna unpause it. Sure seems like we've got a wide enough path here to get through. I have marked more over here. For some reason, they just want to go. They don't want to do that part. Let's undesignate a bunch of this. 
get these guys to kind of focus on the area we want them focused on. Okay, these guys I think are working the mine. I don't see anybody bringing building materials. We should see a warning that a vehicle can't make it. No, those are just maintenance warnings. Be interesting to see if we can build that uh, mining tower. That would be super duper cool to know that we can start building up there and trucks can get up there. Sure, looks like they should be able to. I don't care about that truck. Low maintenance, not a big deal. Iron looks good. Iron plates look good. Why are we not getting that stuff delivered here? I don't know. Don't know what there's something going on. Missing workers a bunch. I'm gonna turn off gonna dial down the oil rig to one shift. I've got one shift going on this other oil rig as well. So we should be okay on that. Let's repair the ship. I was hoping to bring back some refugees that last trip, because we are short workers. Uh, we've got three down diesel generators, but apparently they're meeting the need. It's actually maybe not a good sign. Let's pause this guy. We don't need workers there. We're just going to run half this line. We've got a little bit of construction left before we can start producing diesel. We are chewing through it pretty fast. I'm getting a little nervous. Not going to lie. Oh boy, we're out of construction parts too. We might do, ah, uh, we've got a ton. We've got 1,683 and I can always kick these guys on if we run out of diesel. Workers, zero workers available. So we're kind of perfectly balanced. Don't know what this truck thing is. It's driving me crazy. That is a problem. These guys all have copper ore. They're waiting. Do you need coal or something? What's going on here? Coal output. Missing what? Ooh, water of all things. What? Oh yeah, we're actually carting water over here. Well, that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. Yeah, that's a problem. We've got tons of it. Uh, truck. Truck export is on, so they can take water from here. I can do truck export on from these. I think it's just maintenance that's hurting us right now. Once we get these trucks back up and running, in fact, I could even pause the research. I'll just start repairing trucks. I think that's going to clear the backlog here of stuff. We need to get water delivered. I could probably take a truck off of the copper mine. It's not going to help us immediately, but I'll put one back into the general pool whenever we start producing copper and he can empty copper he's got. Excavator. This isn't the most important production on the map, but we'll do it. No one's coming over there. Rock is full. Iron looks pretty full. We may let that excavator sit since we've got plenty of iron. Where is everybody? Did they fall into the water? I feel like I'm missing lots of trucks. I'm feeling they're all like stuck somewhere, stacked on top of each other so I can't see them. I had that happen a couple playthroughs ago. Where five, I think it was like five trucks were just kind of wedged in behind something and couldn't come loose.
Is that water coming up? Nope. My fuel truck doing his thing. Need water. Here. Got the impure copper. I need water. Should we prioritize this to like a four? Might be wise to add trucks. We've got plenty of rubber. Oh, I think I've got one of these depots running too. Kind of a waste of workers. Let's get a truck going. About two. Of course, it needs copper, which we don't have. Ah, uh, we do have copper. We just don't have anybody to, to deliver it. Doesn't make sense to run both these maintenance depots when there's no copper. Let's uh, remove the boost and pause one of them. There's water. He broke down, but he's got it. There we go. Somebody please deliver some copper. This is set for truck exports. Uh, I could belt it. Where is the input on that guy? Ooh. Hmm. Doable. We need to do that, actually. Um, but I also need copper. Who else needs copper? Is it the advanced construction materials? Yeah, advanced construction parts needs them. I need to leave truck export on or belt them out that way, too. We could belt over to the maintenance depots. That'd be a bad idea. We're probably going to leave this set up the way it is, I think. We may set up another one. No, for this one little guy, I can kind of keep up with everything we need. We could set up another one over here, even, and just belt the copper down somehow. Oh. Not pretty. They go over that building like that. That's interesting. Okay, I need to... Uh, let me hit R. Let me hit Q to lower this guy down a bit. And we can... Do this. Something like that. It's not perfect. That'll do. I think trucks can get under there. Oh, you know what's gonna that's gonna cause a huge problem. I'm not gonna be able to get excavators out of here. <laughs> let's let's see if we can figure out a better way to do it. Excavators aren't gonna want to come underneath that. Uh bummer. I could move this. These are only 80 construction parts or less. The vehicle depot. I didn't need to nestle that thing in so tight. Hey, can I hop up here through this mess? Looks like I can. They're going to let me. This I think I'll be okay doing. Um, but I need to... Down along the building. So... Believe it or not, that may do it. I just need to reverse the direction on this belt. That should be fine with our vehicles if we buy more excavators, which we might. How are we doing? Did we get anything delivered? Nope. 
21 to 45 seconds. You have big problems with vehicles. What is the backup? Is it just maintenance and things queued up? It could very well be. Lots of extra workers. Food's holding steady at 800. I think that's our max storage. This stuff is still taking a while. We need that copper moving. We need construction part twos. Pretty desperately. He's waiting on, yeah, he's waiting on copper to be delivered. Let's make sure we have this set to export on. Truck export is on. We've got the unity. I'll go ahead and repair this guy. And I'll look for transport trucks and just make sure they are that. That guy is assigned to the mine control tower, it says. Where are my normal trucks? Are you one? What are you guys doing? Preemptively repair these guys. Hopefully they can catch up. Yeah, we really need copper delivered. That is our big holdup. I guess there's no use having the boost on this. It does save electricity. We can pause this guy actually. Until we move copper, there's, we can't do get anything done. What do you say, buddy? Want to pick up some copper and deliver it? No? Okay, diesel's down to 1492. I'm not happy about it. These guys, I'm not as worried about their maintenance. Their stuff's not very important. These guys are, though, our little guys that are moving stuff around the island. We need them doing their thing. So I guess it's just kind of hunt and pack on that stuff for a bit. Rubber plant, I don't care if that's broken. In fact, I can pause it. We don't need those workers in there. We've got a whole thing almost full of rubber. Arm is loaded. The inventory is full. It doesn't even make sense to put workers on that. I keep going after these trucks that are broken down. As I see him. Boy, it's getting the backup is getting longer. 2369. What is going on? Truck not deliver wood, that's fine. You guys are still inching away at the last few nuggets. Pretty sure nothing got built here yet. Oh my gosh, look at did. I was wrong. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. We're going to do our coal power up there very, very soon. We just got to get out of this maintenance problem. We need somebody to deliver copper plates. These guys, come on, you can do it. Nope, you don't want to do it. Got a lot of people delivering ore and stuff. And slag to the landfill, which is a huge long trip, unfortunately. Here's a guy we need working. Yeah, see, he's delivering rock. 
You guys got rock too. It'd be nice if you had full truck loads, guys. You guys got some iron plates. Just trying to selectively make sure these guys keep moving and we can clear this backlog of products that need to be shipped on the island. That is what's currently slowing us down. Oh, we got two trucks built. That was fast. Uh, how many? Yeah, let's go for another two. See if we can't pull ourselves out of this mess. No routes assigned, no vehicles assigned. I don't think I need to assign trucks to this. Oh, uh, I suppose we could. Would that help? You really need to have this copper moving, guys. I'm just randomly clicking on trucks like a clicker game here. Try to keep things flowing. You see more people moving, so I'm happy about that. All right, water's being delivered. Got diesel being delivered up here to these guys. They're kind of controlling the fuel depot. That's the only thing that's running off of that diesel now. But you, you've got copper plates, finally. Copper plates to maintenance. Since they are starting to deliver them, let's turn this guy back on. See if we can't get construction part twos built. That's what's holding up our diesel production. We're down to 1,400. Should make some radical changes to get this running again. Guy is taking rubber. We still have plenty of rubber. I'm not too worried about that. We'll turn that on in a bit. Uh, coal's fine, I think, everywhere. Yeah, there's plenty of coal here for the iron processing, and I think oh, this guy does need coal for the copper. I guess we will repair. Got enough unity. Make sure that guy keeps going. He's got plenty of trucks working for him. All right, there we finally we have some of those going. I need to get the cement plant running, or concrete plant running, I should say. I may turn on, we've got the workers. I'm gonna turn on the brusher. It's gonna consume diesel, but should be all right. That's our truck. He does not want to deliver the copper, right? There's a place for it to go. Let's see if he takes it to where we want it. Should drop it off right here. Okay, good. Concrete factory's working. Going on here. There they come. Make some gravel, fill that up. That's not really urgent. We've got a full storage of it. Got plenty of construction part ones. This will do exports. Yeah, he's got plenty. Or he doesn't need them. He doesn't need concrete. He needs just copper and these guys. Could run a crazy copper belt out here at some point. Power is lacking. Let's repair diesel generators.
All right, look at our vehicle queue up here in the top left. It's down to 171 from whatever it was, like 3,000. So our little technique of kind of hand fixing things with Unity is, I think, gotten us back on track or close to back on track. Basically waiting on maintenance to kind of rebound. Looks like it's got a nice supply of copper plates now. And construction part twos, we're slowly getting. Coal is a little bit of a problem here. See some coal on its way. I don't see any though. First to me, we could pause this building so we don't end up with like this half done and this half done and no oxygen. I cannot do anything without oxygen. What we might have to do, if things got really dire, Right now, this whole diesel production is backed up because we're not getting rid of the fuel gas. We could route that off to a um, to a flare directly, and this would actually, I think, would actually start spinning up again, and we'd start getting diesel. Could do that. We might not need to. In fact, I think we could do it just by connecting these two things. Uh, what is this supposed to be? Maybe not. No, that's oxygen. It is. Yeah, I'd have to. Light oil. That's not what I want. Be this guy here. This pipe here would need to be routed to a um, exhaust. We could do it. We could do it. We're down to 1200 diesel. Okay, this guy's spinning up now. We might be there. We might be there. And we've got the. Exhaust here. Let's see, this guy should be sending oxygen through. We just got to pay attention to the direction of our pipes. Here we can see the little windows it's making its way through. Hopefully, once oxygen gets in here, these guys or this guy in particular, and the one on the right, fires up. What else do you need? Here comes the oxygen. One more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> What's going on? I just need one more. There it goes. Okay. You can see this guy stirring around. That's kind of cool. Animation. Oh, you know, we can get closer with the F11. How come I never do that? Nice. Check it out. Mixing up the diesel. It's just the F11 screenshot key, I guess. Okay. That should cause this guy eventually to free up. Process. We should see some smoke coming out of this guy here soon. There is our exhaust carbon dioxide. Smells good. Here we go. This guy's firing up. All right, we're slowly getting diesel back. Slowly, slowly. I don't know if this will even keep up this one little line. There goes some right there.
And then our other diesel is coming through this pipe right here. If you can see it kind of near the center of the screen. And yep, filling up 12.52. We'll keep an eye on that around not quite 1300. How are we doing over here in maintenance? We got our belts. They're feeding. Now these guys are both happy with copper. Oh, this one's not happy with copper. Oh, it's paused. Is that why? Maybe that's why. Nope, that's not why. Or is it? He needs iron plates and doesn't have them. Twelve sixty four on diesel. Food looks great. Iron plates look okay. How's our ship doing? Let's send this guy out again. It's repaired. Let's go take it to some pirates. Then we found one ship with seventy battle score. I'm not sure what that means. Off you go. We're doing a maintenance. Not great. This isn't really high priority. I'm going to let that sit. Basically, what these guys are doing is just going to extend the island. So we'll extend the commuter. Well, at least what I'm thinking. I can finish the sentence. Thinking of having the community kind of extend out this way. Off to the left. And down. Even out into the water here. And then we'll just start chewing away at this <laughs> this huge mountainside. I don't think there's re oh there's gold we're gonna hit eventually. That's gonna be a long time from now. We may get that um from the surface. Let's turn off the overlay. Yeah, there's some surface level gold. I'm guessing that's we can mine that directly. Have plenty of trucks. Ships on its way. Getting some slow, slow diesel generation. We got power issues. So it's perfect timing to get back into full power generation. We'll do that up on the next tier. You're going to need. Let's unassign one of these guys. I'll repair you, I'll unassign you, and I'm going to put you way over here. Whoops. A little bit further down. I always think it's way at the top corner. It's not. It's not that sign. An excavator. Well, vehicles. And then I guess coal power generation we can put anywhere. Right? We probably won't. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we can do against this guy. Last battle, they got a lucky shot and our bridge set on fire and we had to run. Should be able to take this guy out. Nicely done, men and ladies. Okay, our ship has discovered a sulfur mine, so we don't have to produce sulfur if we don't want to. And we got population. That's actually the bigger thing I wanted. Okay, can we... Yes, I've got enough fuel to go explore. We never did. I never did do anything with the um, sawmill. We're going to need to save up some construction part twos before we can repair that and see what it's all about. We got 12 more workers. I think they immediately enter the pool, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if you have to bring the ship back or not. Anyway, I was looking for a place over here for to put our, to get going on the coal power. We'll probably, I guess we could start that. Uh, let's 
stand back from all this mess. We're going to be digging pretty deep around this area. Maybe right in here somewhere. Full power generation. It's been a while since I've done this. High pressure turbine. We need boilers first, right? Yeah. Boilers, then you, you, and you. And we have so much coal here. We're going to be doing coal, most likely. Oh, uh, boy, we need a lot of construction part twos to pull this off. So we got to keep that in mind. I think last time I stacked two of these up, four of these, and a couple of these flywheels. Let's start with a boiler. This guy, coal boiler. Oh, we need water up here too. That's all right. We've got access now. We can pump it. And we've, frankly, we've got a bunch of land up here. We could put water collectors. See where that water reservoir is. Um, Back on this. Way over here. So eventually we'll probably connect up an island wide water network. But we can tap into water here. Eat water. Water is easy to pipe. So we'll have a big water pipe running through here. I'm thinking right here, actually, just plunk this thing down. Oh, it's not that big. We've got a ton of space up here. I like it quite a bit. We're overlay real quick. Yeah, we've got the overlay on. This is all buildable land. We don't have to worry about it. About anything. Let's do it. Boiler. That's going to get us. Let's see, 48 steam. 48 high steam per minute. Okay, yeah, this day takes 24. That's why we did two of these. Where is the steam going? That was the frustration with these guys. Why is it not showing me which input is what? Can't quite remember. Let's plunk it down. Let's pause and then we'll plunk it down and see. Gonna show me what's what? Feel like I'm missing something obvious. Why is that not showing me what goes where? Got to be missing something, don't I? Obvious here? Where does the steam go? Here is the steam here. This thing's going to kick out low steam that we're going to put through another low pressure generator or something. Where is that? Do I have that? Let's look for that. Looking for the low pressure steam. I guess it would be a turbine or generator. Power generator. That. Low pressure steam. That's it right there. Low pressure steam. Generate mechanical power. We want that. We want to research that sooner than some of this other stuff. We want that, both of these guys, pretty soon. Let's turn off desalinization. Desalination, not salinization. Desalination can come off. Let's get rid of chemical fertilizer. We're not messing with sour water recovery. Okay, now there's no research selected. Can I do this now? I cannot. 
Got to have Research Lab 3. Get that going. Then these two guys. We know that this is part of our power setup. Our coal power setup is this low, low pressure turbine. Let's get those researching. We could always throw more labs if we wanted to accelerate the research. I tend not to do it, but we could. I think high pressure steam comes in the top of this. It. Wish it showed it. What am I missing? Doesn't it? I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Like it should be showing me what goes where. I know the center shaft is the center shaft. That's all the mechanical power and we snap in. But one of these guys, oh, oh, oh. You know what the hint is? The green arrow is the input and the red arrow is the output. All right. That is the hint. That's what we needed to know. Boiler, back to boiler. Where are you? Boom. Not boiler, sorry. Bear with me, I'm getting tired. So we're gonna power two of these. They can go right next to each other. And they need to go this way. Right. One. Do high pressure steam comes through. I guess I can hit play. Let's let things roll while we're doing this. All this is going to need to get built before we can use any of it, really. That's that. Low pressure steam comes out the bottom. Can't use it until we get our low pressure boiler. So I've got, I think I'm stuck venting that out for a bit. I guess we'll wait. We'll wait till this gets constructed. All right. So we'll take it from the top. We've got 48 steam coming out. High pressure. 24 is going in here. 24 is going in here. We're going to get 48 steam low out the bottom. We'll vent that out a smokestack. Or we will run it through low pressure turbine. Um, once that gets unlocked from the tech tree. Then these guys are also, besides the low pressure steam, they're going to kick out a megawatt of power each onto the central shaft. And so what's next in the chain is this flywheel. It's able to store 80 megawatt seconds. So that's kind of strange. Worth the mechanical power as inertia of a spinning mass. 80 megawatt seconds. I think, I think we can actually have a fair number of these. There's one. It's just like a battery, basically. I was able to store 80 megawatt seconds worth of mechanical power as inertia of a spinning mass. Let's do three. I think last time I did two, and they looked a little different. I thought last time, maybe not. How much are these? Uh, whoa, there's a lot. They take a lot of stuff. Okay. And so now this is just storage for, for mechanical energy. We're still going to be generating two megawatts out of our turbines, our high pressure turbines. So that means four of these guys, cause they're half a megawatt each. The four of these guys on the end and we are good to go for the time being. Just got to wait for building materials, which makes me think I really need to think about scaling up our, <laughs> scaling up our smelting operation. Uh, it's pretty, I've got it set up pretty anemic right now. There's no, I think this is done actually. I don't think there's any more pipes or stuff to do. 
Uh, water. Yeah, we got to do water, I guess. And we got to do a spot to store the coal. Do that. At least one storage to get us started for coal. And then I got to get water going through here. Might even just bolt this guy on. Uh, and exhaust. Yeah, exhaust. Forget about the exhaust from the boiler itself. That uh, can go. Type that. Eventually, I think we can scrub that exhaust. Then I need to get water. Did I block my water input? I might have. I might have. Is there a water input on this guy? Had I blocked it. Let's kill that off before building materials get here. There's water. Yeah, there's water. All right. Water pipe. Let me go up. And make the right turn. Turn, I take it back. I'll leave an extra nugget there. That's that. Now we can put in our storage, our loose storage, and know that we've got room. Can't really, f can it fit there? No, it's got the pipe going through it. We'll just, is the mine that way? Let's do it. I want to line up the belt. That looks fine to start. Just so we have one. Cool. Get a transport down here, U-shaped conveyor, U into U. Coal is supplied, water is going to be supplied. We're gonna run a huge pipe, but I kinda wanna check, before we do the water, I kinda wanna check on how everything's going and then we'll wrap this episode up. What is the holdup? We're using a lot of construction part ones. How's diesel? Oh man, it's not catching up, it's not catching up. Uh, and what happened with our ship? Location explored. I dismissed it. I didn't see what we actually got from that. Uh, damaged cargo ship. 300 steel. Oh, boy. We don't have that yet. I explore. Nope, I gotta head back. Go home. We're 15 workers short. Food is still good. I'm gonna pause. What am I gonna pause? We got so much oil. I'm actually gonna pause one of our... Oil rigs. We're still short workers. What's going on here? Yeah, problems. Short workers. That's why we're not getting our diesel. Partially why we're not getting our diesel. Stuff I can shut down probably is. This guy can be shut down for sure. Crusher. Let the cement guy go for a while. Copper is okay. It's actually in pretty good shape. Waiting on iron plates to be delivered. We've got tons of them. Could assign a truck to this. It is kind of a key part of our operation, but look at our queue is backed up again sure what that is. Let's see what this guy's doing. He's... Oh, does he go do other things if there's nothing to deliver? That would be kind of cool. If that's the case, let's put a truck on this. 
on our iron plates because our maintenance buildings need iron plates delivered, unfortunately. That's what this guy's waiting on. Says he doesn't have copper. How is that possible? Short people or power? Maybe he just doesn't have an internal inventory. Why would there not be more copper floating in there? Any guesses? Is the refined copper that they want? Toggle this belt a couple times. I don't know. I guess it does one unit at a time. So if I turn off the by 60, it does one unit at a time. I guess that's all it can store is in its input at a time, which is not great. We should probably get a storage going here and another belt to bring in the, um, to bring in the iron plates, rework these so we can get iron plates in here. That is a future enhancement. The queue is increasing. I don't like seeing that. We're still short on workers. I'll pause the farm. Our ship is back. Let's see if it docks. Are we going to get more workers all of a sudden? Or did we get them? Yeah, we did. Interesting. All right. I didn't know that. Now I do. How are you guys doing? 1162, I'd love to see this kind of perk up. At least they're all running. Don't see anybody backed up. So the ratio should be fairly okay. Still have heavy oil to produce. We haven't done that yet. We're just burning it off. Kind of a waste. And that pipe of heavy oil is right here. I think, I think this has got heavy oil in it. Or will once we hook it up to something that needs it. Construction parts, sir. We're behind a little bit. I guess I'll leave this oxygen thing off and focus on the coal power for construction first. Is we could make use of that. Let this get built. Got to route water and probably run just a water pump into here, maybe with some tanks. Then we can hook it up to our network, or we can use building materials and put a bunch of water collectors up here until we need the land. They're not too expensive, the water collectors. They do take wood, right? They take 30 wood. But in the tech tree, we're going to get a substitute for wood. So I don't think we need to worry about it. I forget what that, where that is. It's right here. We'll be able to use iron and steel and concrete and make construction parts without using wood. And then if we ever get around to doing household goods, which I hope we do, uh, we can use glass and steel. Two more things that we haven't made yet that we need to do. Do we have an excavator here? Let's turn off the filter. Yep. Do we have trucks? We should have trucks sitting here waiting. Where are they? Are they just doing other things, maybe? Oh, no, they're delivering coal, like, way far. <laughs> I think they're delivering coal way far away. <laughs> oh, man, they're probably burning a ton of fuel to do that. Oh, well. Hopefully this diesel thing will take off. It open up this other branch. Let's keep that repaired. I want to see this humming along. 1100 is not great. It's not confidence inspiring. Hey, what? Well, let's end the episode here. I may let it run for a little bit in between episodes and just kind of babysit things until we are out of the, um, out of danger with the diesel. I'm a little nervous about that. That could sink our whole operation if we can't catch up. And we've got trucks that are making much longer trips than they have in the entire playthrough. We could, you know, kill off some of the long distance island expansion 
and cut down on fuel usage, or we could kind of race to get some more staff on the island and get the second line of diesel production up and running. That would probably do us good. We know we're going to need to do that. So yeah, I'll babysit in between episodes for analysis of GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks as always to GliderCat channel patrons or channel members and patrons. Appreciate your contributions. You keep this channel alive and I deeply, deeply appreciate it. Can't say it enough. Also, thanks to everybody who's even given the videos a thumbs up. I'm glad you're enjoying the series and I'll see you all in the very next episode.